Okay, we are going to take a little bit of time and keep on working on our cylinder problems. Now, the big thing that we're going to do right now, in our previous videos, we figured out all this information previously about this cylinder. Now, let's say we have to manufacture something that maintains the same diameter but has a different weight. Um, and that occurs quite often. Say you need to make a counterweight on a window that opens or something along those lines. So we need to figure out um, a cylinder that weighs 4.5 pounds but maintains the same overall diameter that we have been working with. Now we're going to be working backwards through some of our equations. So let's start with this one. Uh, density times volume equals weight for us. And this is how we figured out originally. So 0.259, which is the density of cast iron, times 24.837, which is our original volume, gives us a weight of 6.432 pounds. Now we need something that weighs 4.5 pounds. Now we know that density isn't going to change. It's still going to be made out of cast iron. So we're going to plug in the numbers that we know. Cast iron is 0 0.259. Okay? And then we're going to multiply that times volume. We don't have the volume yet. And we know that it needs to weigh 4.5 pounds. Now this is pretty darn easy. We can just figure out the new volume by dividing 0.259 from both sides and then we are left with volume equals 4.5 over uh, 0.259 or volume equals 17.37 okay so we now know our volume uh, for our item that weighs 4.5 pounds is 17.37. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky, okay? So I'm going to move this up. We have our volume. I'm going to switch over here. Now we need to get our diameter, or our length, excuse me. So if I put L-E-N-G-T-H, we need the length of this. Because again, the diameter is the same. Now we've got our new volume, and we know that volume equals pi r squared times the height. So let's plug in what we know already. We know the volume is 17.37. Okay, so we got the volume already. We know pi is 3.14. We know the radius because we've got that, 1.125. We know that we have to square that. Now we're missing h, the height. So all that we have to do is figure out a little bit for h right here. So let's, uh, let's figure this out, or let's keep on uh, going with this. So if I have um, 1.125 and I have to square it, Let's see, let me get my calculator right here and figure that out. 1.125 squared is 1.265. So 1.265. Um, drop everything down. We have to multiply that. So let's multiply, oh, drop down the H right there. Let's multiply these. So times 3.14 gives us 3.53. So you got 17.37 equals 3.53 times H. Now all that we have to do is, uh, with a little bit of mathematical stuff, divide by 3.53 so we can get it on just one side. Let me write this over here. Uh, 17, whoops, 17.37 17 
divided by 3.53 equals h. So nothing has actually changed. Um, it's a 17.37 equals 3.53 times h. Divide by 3.53, we got 17.37 divided by 3.53 equals h. So 17.17.37 17 divided by 3.53 is 4.92. So h equals 4.92. And that's actually what the entire problem was calling for. We needed to maintain the diameter, which was 2.25, but we had to figure out uh, or it had to weigh 4.5 pounds. So we had to basically work back route, backwards through this equation. Now this is an incredibly difficult problem. It is very involved. So stop this video, rewind, and replay as many times as you need in order to understand the concept.